Jennifer, Governor Brown has the power of the pen, whether she signs bills into law or vetoes them. She's got a lot of power inside there, and she's been working as a legislator for more than 20 years and Secretary of State. But I'll tell you, nothing is a given. Oh, yeah. Governor, what's your first order of business? We're going to be having a press conference later this week, and until then, we're going to get back to work. Thank you. It's right to work one floor up from her old office for Oregon's new governor. I saw her get a warm welcome as Oregon's second woman governor. Everyone, please stand for the Honorable Kate Brown. Lawmakers tell me she's approachable, smart, and knows how to work not just with fellow Democrats in the majority, but Republicans as well. I will say that this is the first time I can say that I know the governor on a first-name basis. <laughs> Republican Senator Kim Thatcher tells me she's worked well with Brown on voter and business issues. I found other lawmakers echoing that same sentiment. When we were tied 15-15 and some of us had to work together in order to bring both Republicans and Democrats to craft uh, the rules with which we were to govern ourselves. And she was a part of that. But the new governor will have some hurdles here. Already today, some Republicans are asking to delay a House vote on a low-carbon fuel bill. It's now part of the federal investigation into former Governor Kitzhaber and his fiancée. Brown may be well-known inside the Capitol here. But she didn't campaign for the job. She has to prove herself, and I think that that's her challenge uh, statewide. She'll have to do damage control outside of Oregon as well. What can she do fairly quickly to change the image of Oregon outside the I state? I think she did with the speech today. I think she gave a very candid speech about what the issues were and what has to be done. Now, it's Brown who will appoint her successor. She has not named anybody just yet. And I'm told her deputy secretary of state could handle the job for now until she appoints someone. It could be this week or it could be even later. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.